Hey guys, how's it going? Matt Dieterich here with Sea West. We are back at Bruno Dune State Park to wrap up the observatory install. We have a weather station to go in. We have an all sky camera. Greg Stafford is completing the dome automation. And we're also gonna work on the CDK 700 telescope, integrate everything into our observatory management system and get on sky weather permitting, even though it's blowing wind and flurrying still and it's mid-April so we're gonna have our fingers crossed on the weather but stay tuned guys it's a great next adventure here at Bruno Dune State Park Okay, we're back in on the CDK 700 telescope and I'm working through installing the camera adapter so we can put the instrument selector on the Naismith port of the telescope and up top, Greg is working on the dome automation portion. Travis and Jason are setting up the computer network back here. So using the Optech Perseus instrument selector, we're gonna have a main camera, and then we're also gonna have a planetary camera, and this is gonna allow the public to also have high focal length views of the planets and wide field views of nebulae, star clusters, and galaxies. And without the need to change anything physically on the telescope, we all change it with a click of a button in software, and that can also be automated in our software system, which is good. Just installed the Perseus adapter onto the plane wave IRF-90 rotating focuser. That's going to allow us to attach to the female dovetail that the Optech Perseus comes with, and then we can begin installing the cameras onto the telescope. Okay, so here is the Optech Perseus. It is a four-port instrument selector that uses a mirror. If you can see it on the inside. It uses a mirror on the inside and with software we can rotate different ports to different cameras, spectrographs, eyepieces, all to make sure that the clients don't have to touch the equipment at all. And we could all do this via the computer, remotely controlled. And this adds a lot of versatility to the telescope itself. Okay, for this system, the main camera is going to be a ZWO 6200 and for this client, we're keeping it simple and they're gonna do a lot of one-shot color imaging with the public here. So we went with the color version of this camera and for additional long exposure help and guiding, we're gonna put in the Optech Sagita and some motorized off-axis guider and that's gonna allow them to auto-guide and take very long exposures with the CBK 700 telescope. So we have the Optech Perseus all ready to go with the Optech Sagita. We have an M42 extension tube. We're going to use that for another camera. And this is just going to bolt directly on to the plane wave IRF-90. And then we can mount our ZWO camera, which uses a M54 thread. And that's going to go to the backside of the Optech off-axis guider here. Hey guys, we're back at the observatory today. A few of the tasks are to set up the weather station, which is a Boltwood 3, and we have an all-sky camera that Jason is getting ready to mount the hardware masts so we can run cables from the control room PC all the way outside to get those set up on the outside of the observatory building. While Jason's working on getting the holes drilled for the weather station all-sky camera, I'm going to be inside working on setting up the software on the couple computers. I'm going to get the ASCOM drivers installed, all the plane wave plate solving databases set up, 
and we're going to set up Voyager software as well, which is one of the software programs we'll use for automation in controlling the telescope and observatory package entirely with one program. Greg Stafford is also working on the dome automation control package. and He's wrapping that up. We should be able to get testing that later this afternoon. And hopefully if the skies stay clear, we can try to get the whole system on sky and do some rough initial tests of the whole observatory package. Since Bruno Dune State Park wants to also have folks be able to log in and run the observatory remotely and potentially in autonomous fashion, we want to make sure that if there's a power failure, that the computers can come on immediately and then that will let us log on. But you have to change those settings in the BIOS of the new computer, so I just did that right now. Jason is wrapping up tightening all of the bolts on the weather station and the all-sky camera. Before we did that, we made sure inside of the computer everything connects and talks to the computer itself before running all those wires. But fortunately, everything ran well, and right now everything is just getting tightened up on the roof. All right, well, we're still here at the observatory and it just hit midnight, but Greg wrapped up doing the dome automation and we got the all sky camera up and running and we're gonna go ahead, open the dome and do first light on this plane wave CDK 700 telescope, make sure the camera focuses and put the system through its paces tonight. Okay, so we wrapped up last night at, geez, it was nearly 3.30 in the morning, but after that long day, we did get the whole system on sky. The dome was slaved to the telescope, and we were using Voyager to accomplish that. Built up a brand new model in Plane Wave Interface 4 software, took a few test shots, and we captured the Hercules cluster, and then M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy, just as a test, but now today, Jason and Travis are going through doing a little bit of inspection on the ash dome, making sure everything is running smoothly, there's no issue with the track, and we'll go outside and check in with them soon. We just got done on our trip here at Bruno Dune State Park. We got a lot done for the observatory, especially first light, the dome automation, the weather station, the all sky camera. All of those essential pieces of the observatory have been installed and tested. So let's go in and check out how everything turned out. guys we just wrapped up at Bruno Dune State Park the observatory is dialed in and next up is the unveiling with the astronomers here at Bruno Dunes and we're gonna do that next month when their team is ready but everything is on sky ready to go they're gonna enjoy public star parties astrophotography and visual observing sessions with it so if you're in Idaho definitely check out Bruno Dunes here and see the observatory that we built don't forget to follow us online and check out our social media channels, but we appreciate you guys following us. Clear skies. Talk to you soon.